Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of July. So, July. Any time in July. What do we have for Aries in July? Oh, there it is. Ooh, man holding heart. Now, a man holding heart can literally mean a man holding his heart, okay? Holding on to his heart, like the heartache, heart pain. Um, you know, that's, you know, think about man holding heart. When you're holding your heart, you're, you're holding your heart. So, let me just put this on. So we have a man holding heart. Now this is not giving uh, his heart away perhaps or he's in some sort of thought, some sort of deep thought. Um, nine is about closure. Okay, so there's something that is coming to, to closure here. Um, now this is, this is, this, this is uh, a man that is withholding affection. He's not giving it away right now. He's not. He's holding on to it. Whether he's holding on to his heart because his heart is in pain or he's withholding giving his heart away because he's been hurt, his heart's been ripped out in the past. However you want to look at it. We do have a man that is holding his heart, okay? Now, whenever I see that card, you do have to beware. It looks great, doesn't it? But, you know, a man holding his heart can signify, you know, heart issues. So just be careful. Um, what do we have? Um, you could also be waiting for a man. If you are the woman watching this, you're waiting for a man to open his heart and give you his heart, right? This I consider this man somebody that is very feeling, very caring, very kind, very generous, but he's obviously been hurt in the past. Um, there's some sort of heartache there. There we go. What do we have for Aries? Ant. Work. Achievement. Success. So you have achieved some success. And you are going to continue to do so. Wheel. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. You need to make a decision. Four leaf clover. Good luck, good fortune. February. Something to do with the month of February, whether it's the February before or the February coming. Something is going to happen, okay? Something to do with the month of February. You've achieved a lot. I know that you're a really hard worker, but you need to make a decision. You need to make a decision about something. Okay, it's interesting how, where I put the cards. I never know where I'm going to put them. I put these two together. So we have work. Achievement, success, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble. You need to make a decision about your work or your achievement or your success. There's a decision that you are indecisive about. Make sure that you're following your heart. Make sure you're following your heart and not doing what somebody else is telling you to do. You could be dealing with a person that's born in February. Just saying, I don't know. I don't know. But it feels like you need to follow your heart. Don't let anybody influence your decisions but you. Then we have over here, we have February and four leaf clover. So something is going to happen in February that is going to bring you good fortune. Okay? Two of pentacles. Now this is your decision. This is your indecisiveness. You need to make a choice. You need to make a choice between two. Okay, it looks like you're lacking balance. And you need to find balance. You're experiencing a lot of ups and downs. You're juggling life, juggling money, going up and down. 
it's like things seem a little chaotic. They seem a little crazy. The thing is, you got to let something go. Okay? Why, why, why try to do so much? Just choose one thing instead of two. So there's, there's a choice that needs to be made. It's like you're trying to do too much. Three of Cups reversed. And now this is socializing with friends. Uh, this could be a celebration. Partying. Doesn't have to be, but this is typically socializing. Gifts, friendship, hanging out with friends. Could be drinking. Could be drinking too much. This is the Seven of Wands reversed. So this is uh, being overwhelmed. And I can see that you're overwhelmed. You may be feeling warm worn down. Maybe you need to take a step back. Give up. Give up. There's something you need to give up. And it may be something of financial burden. Okay. There's, or maybe it's drinking. Maybe you got to give up drinking. I don't know if that's the case or not, but there's something that you need to push away. You need to push this away from you. And you could be even dealing with people that gossip. Okay, you could be dealing with some gossips, people that are talking about you behind your back. Anyway, you need to make a choice between two. That's very clear. Eight of Cups. Now this is saying goodbye. That is saying goodbye, walking away from something that doesn't make you happy. So you are, but the thing is that you have to make a choice to do so. And I can see your indecisiveness. It's like you've, you're, you're overwhelmed by this situation. Okay, I think that there's a lot of socializing going on, probably some gossip. You're, you're having a hard time remaining in balance or adapting to whatever is happening. I think that you may feel like things are crazy right now. I think there's a lot of ups and downs. And I think that, you know, you, you pro for many of you, you're, wa you're wanting to walk away. You are. You're wanting to get out of this situation. Um, the devil. Now, the devil is about greed, materialism lust, um, obsession, there's, there's some, and there addictions, ego, ego, so we have somebody here, here, we have somebody here that needs to walk away from their ego, they need to walk away from something that is unhealthy, is there some sort of unhealthy situation here, it's toxic, it's some sort of, I don't know if it's materialism or greed or drugs or alcohol or something like that. This is being a slave. And this is hell. Living in hell. Turning your back on a situation that is um, not all it's cracked up to be. Okay? I think you may have gotten yourself, you may have bitten off more than you can chew. You may have. It feels as though you will be turning your back on an unhealthy situation. You will be. This is toxic. It's materialistic. Self-indulgence. You are tied to a situation that is very unhealthy. You may... This is like a slave to society. Turning your back on that. Maybe it's that mentality. It could be. This two of pentacles is an alignment. There is about to be an alignment that is larger than yourself. So it's like the universe is going to make, is going to align forces or, or they're going to give you something that's going to help you to walk away from this unhealthy situation. They may cause you, you know, what I just wanted to say was fall down. And I hate to say that. That's, that. you know, it's like trying to do too much. You may trip, you know what I mean? Something like that. And I don't know if it's you. Ooh, the emperor reversed. It, it definitely could be you. Now, the, the emperor reversed is somebody that is corrupt. Somebody that is only looking out for their own good, that is power hungry. 
So, and the emperor typically represents you. So, and this is power hungry as well. So I don't know if you are power hungry and you are under a lot of social pressure to present yourself to be somebody that you can't physically or, or financially be, then you need to find your strength to uh, let go of whatever it is that obsession is because there's some sort of obsession here. There is, okay? And with the emperor reverse, this is somebody that is entitled okay now this is a father figure that is under a lot of social pressure okay and it doesn't have to be a father it's somebody who it could be a business owner it could be a boss somebody you know that uh is that usually is used to being in control likes to be the boss wants to be the boss but doesn't want to take responsibility for their actions so this is like somebody that is is only looking out for themselves and is very power hungry that uh, does things that are against the law to obtain whatever they need, even if it's not the right thing to do. So I think that you really need to be careful. The emperor in reversed. Now this could be somebody that you're dealing with as well. Things are going and it feels like things are probably going to get out of control because the emperor reverse is right underneath the two of pentacles. So that's like uh, out of control. And you may be clinging to control, clinging to that power. And you got to let go of that ego. These are both cards of ego. You got to turn your back on the ego, on the pride, on the materialism and wanting to be in control. And this is about surrender. The seven of wands reverse. It's like you're going to probably need to surrender to the, this month. Um... This is like a fall from grace. And this is, remember I said something about falling? So I'm wondering if you, you may fall or you know somebody that's going to fall from power. This is like a fall from power. I'm sorry. Ooh, Knight of Swords reverse. Now the Knight of Swords is out of control. This is somebody that is clueless, that is ignorant, that is a know-it-all, that is insincere. There could be some mental health issues. You could be, this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with somebody that is very controlling. The control, 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 okay? Somebody in this dynamic is very, very power hungry and controlling. They are. And I feel like they are about to... Uh, no, oh, this is looking for a fight. Blames everybody. We got a blamer here that doesn't want to take it. It likes to blame everybody. Chariot reversed. Now this is coming to a stop. Emotional outburst ahead. There's going to be an emotional outburst ahead. Emotions all over the place. Things are definitely going to be out of control. Okay, I'm sorry. Out of control. Out of control. Out of control. <laughs> Not good. Not good at all. I think there's going to be something that happens that is out of your control. I think the universe is in control. Okay? And it's going to be a very emotional month. you got to think about where the planetary, you know, lineups, alignments are. Okay, because that, that two of pentacles about planetary alignment, it really is. So there's going to be a realignment in your life. And it's going to make you feel very uh, uncomfortable. Okay? It is going to make you feel uncomfortable. And this is reality. Okay, it's reality. I think we have an individual here in this reading that is very much focused on power. Uh, greed, uh, materialism, lust, uh, unhealthy behavior, okay? And it's like the universe is saying it's time to say goodbye to that behavior, <coughs> okay? You have to say goodbye to that behavior. And I feel like something is going to come to a stop and it's going to come to a stop all of a sudden, okay? Um, I think it is definitely going to be emotional. I think that, that uh, you know, you're probably uh, have, maybe you've lost control or you've, you've uh, 
lost your ambition. It feels like there's a there's there's a disaster ahead. With the Knight of Swords reversed, the Chariot reversed, this is a disaster ahead. And it's for you. And I because we got the Emperor reversed and I and I, and I it's just the way it is. I I it is. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Cancer, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, um, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I feel as though things are going to come to a complete halt and you, the, the life that you've been living, okay, is going to come to a complete halt. And I feel like that's the case because somebody has been dishonest with themselves uh, they've been insincere and this is dangerous. Okay. The, the night, the night of swords is a dangerous situation. Uh, there's been a lot of fighting. There's been extreme competition here. Probably, probably with some other people could be friends or family. And I think this is all going to come to an, it's going to come to a stop. It is going to come to a stop. We have an individual here in the middle that is, which is, could be you, that is naive. Okay. You may not be seeing, you may not be seeing what is going on. Um, Five of Swords. Oh my God. There's a betrayal. There is definitely a betrayal here. Five of Swords is betrayal. This is walking away. It's non-negotiable. You're dealing with a bully. You are absolutely dealing with a bully. Somebody that has abused you. Psychological abuse. Okay. They're, uh, this person has no morals. They have no conscience. I feel like there's bad that you are definitely dealing with an insincere bully who has abused you you in some way and I feel like you are it's going to come to an end okay with the chariot reverse it's absolutely going to come to an end who I think there's going to be some sort of well the two of the two of pentacles is an alignment that stops an abusive an abuser right in their tracks and this is mental abuse. I think somebody has been uh, doing something, you know, it's mental abuse. You're dealing with mental abuse. Uh, you are. Oh, my God. Mm. Whew, and you're, this is a situation in which you are going to be powerless, okay? The Seven of Wands reversed, the... The uh, Emperor reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed. This is a powerless situation where you, there's, this is going to be completely out of your control. It's like the universe is going to cause some sort of chaos which causes uh, somebody to fall from power. Okay, so, And that's somebody in your life. Maybe it's somebody very close. Somebody that you live with or it's you. This is saying goodbye to a toxic situation that is unhealthy. Coming to a complete stop with the chariot reversed. This is like winning, winning, wanting somebody wanting to win at all costs. They don't care who they hurt. You are dealing with an individual that doesn't care who they hurt. Or, you know, it could be you. I don't know. We got the emperor in reverse right in the middle. Wanting to win at all costs. This is uh, a runaway train. We have a know-it-all here. That is leading somebody into danger. Be careful with who you're dealing with. You are dealing with somebody that is corrupt. And they don't have good intentions. And they are pretending to be somebody that they are not. And you may be naive to it. So I think that you are under somebody else's control. You are with the devil. And you are not in control. They are. You are under another person's control. Could be society. Could be your wife. Could be your husband. Or it could be a boyfriend. Could be you are under somebody else's control and you are clueless to the whole situation. I think that you are about to see. I do think that you are about to see. 
somebody's saying goodbye with the Eight of Cups. They're saying goodbye to this unhealthy situation. So somebody is saying goodbye because there's going to be a change. That Two of Pentacles is a change and you are going to need to adapt to this change. Somebody is saying goodbye. They're relocating. There's going to be a relocation here. This is completely out of your control. And that doesn't make you feel comfortable because you like to be in control. King of Swords. King of Swords. Now the King of Swords is someone who is leader. This is a leader. This is firm leadership. This is somebody that is very discerning, smart. Now this could be a father. This is the law. Somebody that acts with integrity. There's probably some challenging information coming. I think somebody is about to be judged. Looks like that's a judged. I think that somebody is about to be judged for their actions. And it's almost saying, oh no, oh no. I don't think so. So somebody is about to be judged for their actions. We are a very wise individual here that is making a judgment call. And they're basically saying no. They're saying no. It's interesting. I put it right next to the devil. So the devil's hell. So you got to be careful with your actions. You definitely need to be careful. You are about, I think you're going to be judged. I think that you or somebody that you're dealing with is about to be judged for their actions. And I think they're going to be caught off guard. Now, the, the King of Swords is somebody in authority. Now, this looks like an angel because there's angel wings here. Somebody in authority. Saying, stop. 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 The chariot reversed is stop. Stop this behavior. This is behavior. They are having a conversation. Stop this behavior. Now the Five of Swords is a separation and the Eight of Cups is a separation. So there's going to be a separation here. And it could have something to do with a father figure because the King of Swords can be a father and the, and the Emperor can be a father. It's going to be very emotional because the chariot is reversed. That is an emotional, very unable to master emotions. I do believe that you are going to see clearly though. You are going to see clearly whatever this is by the by the by the end of whatever this happens. This is clarity. You're going to get some sort of clarity which is going to cause you to walk away from whatever this is. This unhealthy toxic behavior. You're going to be you're going to turn your back on it. You're going to decide that you don't want to do this anymore. Nine of Swords reverse. Now this is giving deep thought to the relationship that you are that we're talking about right now. You are gonna see that whoever you're dealing with on a close basis, this is somebody in your that is very, very with you a lot. Okay, this is somebody that is spent that you spend a lot of time with that is is deceiving you, okay, with the with the devil card. They are pretending to be somebody that they're not. And they've been able to do so for quite some time. They've pulled the wool right over your eyes. Anyway, in July, I think that you're going you're gonna to give deep thought because you're going to see something. You're going to see that the person that you are dealing with doesn't have good intentions and it's all about greed. 
This may come after the setback though. It may come after the fall. I think you're going to fall. And the devil is a fallen angel, just so you know. So I do believe that um, somebody is going to fall and they're going to they're going to see after they fall. After they lose. Can't we do something better than this? Well, I can't change it. It is what it is. I think there's a rejection here. Because somebody was dishonest and they didn't act with integrity. They let greed and the need to be in control and to the need to win cause them to lose focus of what's most important. Now the universe is going to realign based on your values there's going to be a realignment and we have a controlling individual who is power hungry that is about to have a fall from power I think there's going to be some heartache with that man holding heart there's going to be some heart pain something is about to be revealed that shows you just who you are dealing with and I think it's going to hurt. Now we have the Six of Cups. I just cut it to the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is memories. It's nostalgia. comes after the five of cups which is a separation but real but there's still an opportunity for love behind you you may be reuniting with somebody in your past that you left behind because you were fooled by a trickster or society went to live the life of you know the high life. There's a reunion here with somebody from your past by the looks of things. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles which is a golden opportunity. This is a gift. In the end you'll be given a gift. This is a, this is a reality check as well. This is a gift. They're going to give you a gift. But you're also going to get a reality check. So by the end of the month, this is a new beginning. This is a golden opportunity to build something solid and stable and secure with somebody from your past. That's what I see with the Six of Cups. So Aries, and I think July is going to be a tough month. I do. I think that you're going to be dealing with uh, mastering your emotions. You're going to feel like things are out of control. And they are going to be out of control. They're going to be out of your control. Because I think the universe is in control. And you think about wheel. That's wheel fortune. That is a universe. The universe is in control. You are about to see a major change in your life. Get prepared. I think it's going to be turbulent. I do. I think it's going to be turbulent. And I feel like you are, somebody's going to fall. They're going to fall from grace. 
you were, and I feel like you were led down the wrong path by somebody that is deceptive, somebody that is a bully and insincere. And I think that you are going to see it very clearly. Good luck.